Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Magic Ridge. I'm your host, Ridge, and today I've got a banger for you mother truckers. Not only do I have a Keldheim set booster box to crack open for your entertainment, but I also present to you with my first of many awesome giveaways. And just to show you that I'm serious, here is a code for six Zendikar Rising boosters that one person may win for Magic the Gathering Arena. All right. Now, all these boosters that are in the giveaway have been purchased at my local game store. As far as I know, they have not been weighed, searched, anything of that nature. So first, I have a Magic the Gathering Mystery Booster. All right. Next... I have a Modern Horizons booster. All right. And then I have a Keldheim set booster. Because, you know, that's the product we're opening today. We're going to give that, some of that away. And then last but not least, and also subject to change, I may add another boost from here into the end of the giveaway. That is a secret. I have a Core 2021 promo pack. All right. So, here are the rules for the giveaway. And they will also be in the description. YouTube wants me to inform you that they are not a sponsor of this giveaway. And here are the rules for the giveaway. So, step one. Like the video. This one that you're watching right now. Step two, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Magic Ridge. And step three, leave a comment on this video. Only one comment will be entered to win per person. Today is Wednesday, February 10th, the day the giveaway begins. The contest will last three weeks or 21 days. The contest ends Tuesday, March 2nd at 12 midnight Eastern time. Now, I will use a random comment generator to randomly pick the winner. I will then attempt to contact the winner through YouTube. You will have 48 hours to get back to me or I will generate another winner. So, good luck and may the RNG gods be with us both. Now, let's Get cracking. Now, I'd also like to point out one of my last videos I ended up corrupting and had had a long time, hard time shooting the video. Uh, this time, this box is an English uh, one. I'm also not going to... I'm not going to point out the art cards... So I'm just going to be talking about the commons, the rares, the mythics, and the set cards. So let's crack this baby open. I am loving this set. I don't know about you guys, but this is the best set that I've opened in a long time. So let's get into it. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. All right. Get this cardboard out of here. Yeet! All right. Uh, da -da 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 all right, we'll just leave that, like, I don't know, over here somewhere. I'm going to need room. I've got sleeves for anything good. Uh, so let's get cracking. All right, first pack. All right, I am freaking hyped. All right, let's see how the English ones go. Hey, it's actually there. We got a snow-covered island. I'm going to skip through the chaff, like I said, trying only to do uncommons and commons. So we have Saw It Coming, Counterspell. We have The World Tree as our first rare. Awesome. We have a random thing. And for a foil, we have Funeral Longboat. All right. So, so far, not so bad. I mean, this land is actually probably worth something. I'll sleeve it eventually. Um, I have a second world tree, so I'm not going to sleeve that. All right, let's keep going. 
Hope you guys are as hyped as I am. Uh, now for giveaways, I'd ideally like to do one giveaway a month, but definitely going to do a giveaway every single major set release. So, the next major set release would be Time Spiral Remastered. I am definitely going to do a giveaway during that. All right, we have Maja, Breit Guard Protector. as an uncommon. We have Crush the Weak. We have Walking, or uh, Waking the Trolls, rather. All right, as a rare. We have Vega the Watcher as a legend. All right, and then we have Run Amok as our foil. All right. So far, nothing great. I mean, the World Tree's good, uh, but that is my second copy. But that's all right. I'm mainly looking for Mr. Tibble God of Lies, and I'm looking for um, the new Vorniclex, for sure. Any gods are welcome. Any awesome major hits on the sets are welcome. All right, so we have a snow-covered foil forest. Dun, 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 dun. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I know I am. All right, we have the Elven Bow as an equipment. We have Provoke the Trolls. And Natvold Slumbermount. We have an Elvish Warmaster as our rare. Um, we have a Dragonkin Berserker as our second rare. And we have a Valkyrie Harbringer as our third rare of this pack. And for the foil, we have a Rune of Sustenance. Enchantment Aura. All right. Cool. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, let's put this over here. All right, let's keep going. Also, I did have a question pertaining to future giveaways. So, Rune Crown. We have a Tyrite Sanctum as a rare. We have a Hennegate Pathway. Uh, I guess that would be Borderless. All right. And then we have an Annul Foil as our foil. So, in future giveaways, I would be interested to see what your guys' thoughts are. Sorry. I'm going to have to open this now on camera. Um, what your guys' thoughts are. So, and say if I have five booster packs, would you... St so, this giveaway, it's only going to go to one winner. In futures, would you rather me pick five winner winners and give one booster pack to each of the said winners instead? So, there will be more winners... Just not as big of a win, if you understand what I'm saying. But that will allow more people to win. I wouldn't mind doing all that shipping and stuff, I think. So just comment below which one you'd rather. One winner or multiple winners? All right, Elvish Bow. The Trolls. We have a Graven Lore Snow Instant. All right. We have an Egar, the Freezing Flame. We have a Stalwart Valkyrie as the foil. And we have a list card. So we have Broodstar. Uh, affinity for artifacts, flying, power and toughness equal the number of artifacts you control. Um, back from Mirrodin, it looks like. Cost 10. I don't know if that's a hit, but that's pretty cool. Put that in the rare pile. All right. Keep this party going. Actually... Yeah, I'm going to pause right here real quick because my camera will shut off. So we'll be right back. All right, and we are back. So let's get into her. So again, this is an English box, so things aren't a little backwards, at least to me. I'm not saying that the Japanese do it bad or anything. It's just my brain, brain doesn't comprehend it very well, the way the setup is. So we have Arni, Slay the Trolls. Oh, yes. 
We have a Search for Glory. I'm going to tell you guys right now, Search for Glory is my number one card that I am speculating for this set. It is very low right now, and I believe in the future it is likely to be extremely broken and go up in price. Now this is my own opinion. I am a major white player. I'm trying to pick up as many copies as, my, as I can myself. So definitely something I would pick up if you can. Well, it's really cheap because it might get broken. All right. So we have a Sarulf Realm Eater as another rare, second rare. We have a Snowboy. Ooh, that's probably a hit. We've got a Tybalt's Trickery in foil. All right, all right, all right. We're going to sleeve that bad boy for sure. All right. I'm telling you guys, I love this set. Uh, I have some friends that aren't huge fans of the set, but man, am I loving it. Loving it. If I can just get my hands on a couple of cards I'm looking for, we'd be set, my friends. All right. We have Rune of Light, Rune of Sustenance. Oops. We have Better Shield Warrior. We have Frenzied Raider. We have Usher of the Fallen. We have a Snowboy Dragur Necromancer as a rare. Oh, I got excited there for a second. We have a Herald King of Skemfar. <clears throat> Put that up here. Uh, we have a King's Herald's Revenge in foil. All right, all right. So far, not too bad, not too bad. We're not even a third of the way through. All right. Making a mess, making a mess. All right. We are getting stuff done. Okay, so we have a not vold slumber, slumber mound. All right. Uh, we have an Arni Slay the Trolls. We have a Rootless U. We have a Savella Ice Shaper. We have a Tyvar Kel, which is an okay hit. Uh, that's also my second one. Um, we have a Boreal Outrider as an uncommon. And we have a Raven Form as the foil. Ooh, and we have another set card. This is also a hit. We have a Necrotic Sliver. I pulled this in one of my other boxes. It's right around three bucks. It's another hit. Pretty decent. All right. Let me see if I can fix my camera a little bit. We got some other background stuff. All right. All right. So I don't know if I mentioned it before. Um, there's three weeks in between. I may grab another booster of some kind and add it to the the giveaway. Um, I guess whoever wins will find out, honestly. So we have a root U, a Savella Ice Shaper. We have a Crippling Fear, the rare. We have an Ice Bind Pillar as an uncommon. And we have a Starnheim Corsair Pegasus as the foil. Curious to know what that Tybalt's Trickery is at, um, the foil. I hear it might be banned. I thought it was doing some work in uh, Modern. Oh, we have a foil art card. That's cool. All right, all right, all right. Trying to go through this a little faster. My last video ended up getting... Um, I corrupted the beginning with the giveaway, so that sucked. Bloodline Pretender. We have a Glade Walker Ritualist. We have a Litjara Glade Warden. We have a King Nefari's Betrayal as a rare. We have a Finn the Fang Bearer as a legend. We have Coma's Faithful Elf Cleric as a foil. And some other random stuff. We get a Foretell token. All right, I believe. Oh, no, this might not even be. I think we might have one more to make halfway point here. All right. We have a Tybalt. Tybalt, I need you, Bo Row. Come on. All right, Snow Covered Swamp and Foil. Not bad. Not sure what they're at. I prefer the Full Arts. 
from other sets, but it's okay. We got Replicating Ring. We have Avalanche Caller. We have Frost Arger. Snowboy. We have a Tegrid Gog God of Fright. That's a good hit. Good enough, anyway. All right, and we have another Avalanche Caller. We have a Fur Judge, Judge of Valor. And Foil, that's pretty cool. All right. Not bad, not bad. Now, there's one of these boys that are just sideways in the box back here. Maybe this is going to be a hitty. All right. Again, I really enjoy this set. If you have a chance, I would pick it up. All right. Nice art card. And I wanted to say, as I usually say in my videos, I picked up this box in particular from Card Kingdom. I paid $138.38. That includes tax and shipping, and I did the two to three day shipping, so that's why it's a little more expensive. So I'll put set, I'll put prices in here and see if we can essentially beat the price of the box. Okay, Rune of Might, Weathered Rune Stone, Rune of Speed. We have a, uh, oh, I don't, oh, this isn't, it just says God Favored. This is a Sigrid God Favored. I have not pulled that one yet. That's cool. Protection from Gods. We have a Grim Draugr and a Story Seeker for the foil and a Dwarf Boy token. Should probably be pulling them token. All right, so we are at least a third of the way through trying to pick it up here. All right. All right, uncommon. So we have Path to the World Tree, uncommon. The Trickster's God Heist, God's Heist. Divine Gambit, Spectral Steel, Axe Guard Armory, Cole the Forge Master, Ascendant Spirit. We have Savella Ice Shaper, and Frost Peak Yeti as the foil. And we have a list card, it looks like. We have a Haship Oasis. All right. I don't know if that's a big hit or not, but we'll take it. We'll take it. All right. Next pack. I hope everybody's having a freaking awesome day. Man, I wish they'd stop teasing me with these uh, art cards. There's a couple of them that I just really would like to get. We haven't really had any huge hits besides probably the Tibalt's Trickery. All right, Spectral Steel, Axe Guard Armory, Showdown of the Scalds as a rare. We have a Toski, Bearer of Secrets, second rare. We have a Maja, Bretgard Protector. We have an Elvish Warmaster in Foil. All right, that's not terrible, I don't think. All right, let's keep this party going. I'd like to keep it under 30 minutes. Please, enter the contest. It's real. I want you guys to win. This is this is going to be, like I said, I'd like to essentially do one giveaway a month. And I'd like to... I'm going to do major ones with multiple boosters and things like that during every major set release. So the next one, I believe, once again, is uh, Time Spiral Remastered. So we have Vega the Watcher. Watch me pull something good, please. Gates of Istfel. We have Nico Defies Destiny. We have a second Tibalt's Trickery non-foil. We'll take that. Alrighty then, boys. I got you, mister. So I have the Valky, God of Lies. Uh, I definitely wanted to hit this boy because he's quite expensive and I'm making a God deck. So there is Tybalt, Cosmic Imposter. That's going in a sleeve. I am so excited. All right, the box is taking a turn for the wonderful. All right, and we have Feed the Serpent as our foil. Uh, Exile Target Creature or Planeswalker. That's not too bad for four. All right, I'll be right back with you. All right, I'm back, and we had this Kaya, the inextricable emblem I wanted to share from that last pack, and we need to sleeve Tibalt. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, I'm excited. I was a little down. I am now up. Yes, we are actually going to put you right here. And where's... You know what? Did I... I fold... I'm sorry. Now I'm just going to make the video longer because I want to pull out the Tybalt Strickery, even though I'm not positive if that's a huge hit. But I'm pretty sure it's a decent one. All right. We'll put those boys right there. All right. Let's keep going. We're about halfway through the box. Maybe a pack or so more. Oh, my goodness. What, they glue this one? Would y'all use cement? What's this got in it, I wonder? This one seemed hard to get into. All right. Let's get into it. Also, share this video with your friends, your family, your kids. I would love for a child to win this. I only have 15 subscribers right now. Most of them are friends and family. Let's share this and let other people have a chance to win. Rune of Mortality. Again, this is also not my only way. There will be many, many more. Finn the Fangbearer. Ooh, okay. I don't know why I'm ooing, but uh, we have a Kolvari, God of Kinship, as a rare. Not bad. Uh, we have a Narfi, Betrayed King. All right. And we have a Glittering Frost as our foil. Okay. Oh, and we have a list card. Uh, not an expensive one, I don't think, but it is a funny one. I used to actually use this back in the day. We have Crown of Empires. Uh, tap three of any color mana, tap it, tap target creature, gain control of that creature. Instead, if you control artifacts, name Scepter of Empires and Throne of Empires. That's kind of cool. Uh, I did used to actually play that back in the day. Um, not sure where, but I do recall playing that. All right, all right. We have a foil woodland chasm. Cool. I'd like some more hits, please. Maybe if you ask them, the RNG god, you will get what you deserve. Noel the Forge Master as an uncommon. We have Rune of Mortality as an uncommon. We have Finn the Fangbearer, which seems a lot of people are also building that. That's a bunch of copies of that I've had. We have Binding the Old Gods. Uncommon. We have Fall of the Impostor. Oh, woo! And we have another hit. We've got Gold Span Dragon. People are super excited for that. Uh, I'm going to sleeve that up. We have a Hailstorm Valkyrie. And for the foil, we have a Cinder Heart Giant. All right. And a cat token. Meow. You know what I'm saying? All right. Sorry. I didn't tell you. I don't know if I told you, but my setup's kind of awkward, so I have to, like, hug the camera. So sometimes my body's like, you need a break. So that's why I try to open it off camera. It's not intentional. It's just like my brain's like, you got to do this. All right, so there's only, like, two cards, three cards I'd like to hit still. So we have a Kaya's Onslaught as an uncommon. We have an Inga Rune Eyes, uncommon. We have a Righteous Valkyrie. I'll take it as a rare. Noel the Forge Master as an uncommon. We have a Circlan Frost Pyrie as a foil. And nothing as the whatever this. All right, almost two-thirds of the way through. So far, not bad. Not bad at all. All right. We have Fall of the Imposter. We have Binding the Old Gods. We have Bretgard Stronghold. We have Skemfar Avenger as a rare. We have an Elf Boy. We have an Ice Hide Troll as the foil. And a treasure token as the I don't care. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hype train. All right. Maybe I'll tell you what I'm looking for after this. My brain doesn't really let me multitask. All right. We have a Bretgard stronghold. We have a Maja. Bretgard Protector. We have a Crush the Weak. We have a Bark Channel Pathway. As a rare, not bad. We got the Snowhawk Boy. All right. And we have Village Rights in Foil. And then we have a Blight Sickle. 
as a list card. Equip creature has plus one, plus O, oh, and wither. Not bad. I'll take it. I was just telling my buddy, man, they need to bring sh uh, Shroud back. That would be interesting. All right, so the other cards, like I said, I'm looking for. I would love to pull um, the new Vorniclex. And I need the five-color god tree lady. I think it's... Uh, a light? I don't know what it is. The the God of the Tree, though. That's the one I need. So we have Car Der Doom Scourge. Okay. We have a Dragur Helm. Okay. We have an Immersturm Skull Carrion. Okay. We have another Righteous Valkyrie. Righteous, dude. All right. I think I needed this one. We have Elrond, God of the Cosmos. In the um, bah, 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 showcase. And the other side of it is this here bird boy. Uh, Haka Whispering Raven. That's cool. I need to f I need that one as well. Uh, Borel Outrider. And we have Squash as the foil. I'd also like to point out I've opened one box of English now and a box of the Japanese. Now, for opening up purposes, I was a little confused, but I would say that the Japanese boxes were definitely higher quality. These ones have a little whitening on the edges. I'm not putting down wizards. I'm just saying if you had a choice to pick an English or Japanese printed box, I would personally go for the Japanese English version uh, for better quality. But uh, I'm so excited what they're doing, to be honest with you. They're doing so well. So much better lately. Huge fan. All right, Giant's Amulet. We have a bur, uh, bearded axe, rather. My bad. We have an armed and armored. All right. We have a colossal plow. We have a cyclone boo summoner. <laughs> we have a replicating ring. We have a snake skin veil as a foil. And another Dwarf Boy token. Alright, we're going to take a moment to just throw these bad boys in sleeves. Alright. Again, I'm making a God deck. So I'm excited for some of the gods. Five color gods uh, for a commander deck. Again, this video is long, but I'm doing my best, people. I'm doing my best. Alright. We have another foil land. Ooh, we have a bunch of foil. Try not to spoil stuff. We have a glacial flood plain as a foil. Why did I see a foil so early in the box? That was weird. Okay, maybe I didn't. Stop spoiling things. We have a dragger's helm. All right. We have an Immersturm skull carrion. All right. As an uncommon. We have an Ova Orvar, the all form, as a mythic. I'll take that as well. We have a Dark Boar Pathway, uh, the Extended Art, Full Art type boy, Extended, whatever it is. Uh, I don't have one of those either. Awesome. We have a Ferroja. Okay, and then we have a Maskwood Nexus as the foil. That's not too bad either. And we have a list card. This one was kind of stacked. Uh, we have a Bogart Ar 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 Arsonist. Uh, I don't know if this is a big hit or not, but we will find out. There's a hit in my book. All right, I'm just going to sleeve these boys real quick. Take care of your cards, kids. Put them in sleeves. 100 penny sleeves for 99 cents. Take care of your collection. All right. Nice, nice, nice. All right, all right. Looks like we have one. Let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to go. And I believe I'm going to just take a quick break here for the camera. All right, next back. Seven to go. Oh, here we go with the glue again. I got to stop doing that. This one was hard. All right, Valky's got you, boy. All right. Again, if you have not picked up any Keldime set boosters, do it. You should not be 
You won't be disappointed. At least I'm not. Gilded Assault Cart. Forging the Tyrite Sword. We have a Dwarven Hammer. We have a Battle of Frost and Fire. Boo. We have an Avalanche Caller Snowboy. We have a Haggai Mob as the Foil. A little boast action. We have a Human, fo human Boy. All right, all right. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, we have a Cardur's Vicious Return. We have a Port of Carfell. We have an Arni Broken Brow or something. We have... A Ezekiel's Chariot, all right. Glittering Frost. We have an Aravanist Lindworm as our foil. And we have a Cut and Ribbons as a list card. All right, cool, not bad, not bad. It's not a Cavern of Souls, but it is a list card. All right, I believe this is five, this is the last, this five packs to go. All right, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I did. I'm getting better with the little stutters that I was having. Uh, we have the Trickster's God Heist. God's Heist. We have a Blessing of Frost Snow Sorcery as a rare. We have another Snowy Hawk Boy. And we have God's Hall Guardian Cat as the foil. And the Garbage Guard. All right. Fourth, fourth to last pack. I usually like the last three packs, so hopefully we'll get a good old hitty in there. In there, mother truckers. All right, we've got the fearless liberator. We have the war chanter scald. We have cosmos god of voyage. I may have also needed that. Not sure though. Is that the Hawk Boy? No, that's the Boat Boy. Yeah, we need that. We'll put that there. All right, we have Priest of the Haunted Edge, Snow Boy. Uh, oops, that's messing stuff up. We've got Dwarven Hammer as the foil. Not bad. And we have a Treasure Boy. All right, last three packs. My favorite to open. I love backpacks, like the back, the back ones. Usually at Walmart, anyway. I usually get good hits on some of the back ones. All right. Let's get this stuff. All right, we have the three seasons. We have another Maskwood Nexus. We have a Cardur Doom Scourge. We have a Dread Rider Spirit Knight. Ooh, that might go in the deck. Tech that's coming to you very soon. All right, Human Warrior. I was also going to say before the video ends, my next video will probably be a Commander Deck Tech. Um, you know, I want to keep popping out content. Uh, it's very budget-friendly, and it's definitely an awesome deck. I think you guys will enjoy it. So stay tuned for that. That's probably next week. I'd like to pick up a couple more cards before I post it. All right, all right. Come on, last couple packs do me well All right we have divine gambits we have the bears of lit jara for a rare we have a snow boy we have a mist of lit jara and we have a fodder cannon as a list card okay also not sure if that's a huge hit or not but it's cute all right last pack ladies and gentlemen boys and girls for all the glory. All right, all right. This is it. This is it. Wasn't a bad opening for sure, so I enjoyed it. We have Port of Carfell as an uncommon. We have Cardur's Vicious Return, uncommon. We have the Three Seasons Saga. We have Path to the World Tree, uncommon. And we have a Sigrid God Favored. Uh, yes, okay, we'll take it. It's not a god, but okay. We have Ice Hide Troll, Snowboy, and a Valor of the Worthy 
foil. All right. Probably not as good as my last one, but I enjoyed it. And text time, boys and girls. Make sure you share this. Make sure you do all the things you need to do to enter the contest. Because I want you to be a winner. Peace.